there's been nobody really around here shoving it. I've done the best I could, but uh, they hit me on different sides, and the press is kind of uh, uh, Vietnam or the Dominican Republic or uh, uh, some mistake here, some mistake there, and uh, uh, I'm getting kind of cut up a little bit, and uh, well, could just have a national convention and you're somewhere else. And, uh, I called uh, uh, Meany to ask him to help. He'd gone to Europe. I called Ruther. He won't be back till August. I called Joe Rao and said, for God's sake, so you try to get in here before it's too late. We all off to celebrate and doing something else, and they're gonna they're gonna put a package together that I can see on it. And I called B. Miller and uh, I got him to agree to go send some, and they got a wire sent from. Uh, Roy to uh, all the Republicans, but the Republicans are going to hold pretty well. They're not going to—they're they, going to quit the Negroes. They will not let the Negro vote for them. They just every time they get a chance to help out a little, they'll blow it. And uh, they could help out here, and they could elect some good men in suburban districts and in cities. But they haven't got that much sense. That's why they're disintegrating as a party. So they're going to wind up uh, being pretty solid. Then they're going to get the Southerners. And to put the two together, it'll probably be within 10 votes of uh, count. Now, when I went up with my message, I could have probably passed it by 75. But it's deteriorating. Now, the smart thing to do, if we had uh, people that would all stay with us and follow leadership and get in, and, and, and when the ball goes through the center or around the end, would follow it, would be to get some language that the leadership conference would agree on and go in and see McCormick and our friends and say, now, let's take this language that the Senate will accept without it going to conference. So we can go on and get this bill passed and start registering our people and get them ready to vote next year. That's what we need to do. But uh, we, they're playing us, and we're not parliamentary smart enough. Uh, if you want to be honest now, you ask my advice, I'm just telling you. Uh, you, you're all either going to have confidence in me and in Katzenbach, or you ought to pick some leader you do have and then follow. I, I, I started out on this vote bill last November, right after the election. I called him down and told him I was going to do it. And I called you down here and told you what I was going to do. And I went to Congress and made a speech and asked him to work every weekend. Then we all went off. They haven't had any heat except for me, and they're getting tired of the heat from me. They don't like for me to be asking for rent one day and poverty the next day, education the next day, and voting rights the next day. And they know I can't defeat them out there in their district in Michigan or some other place. So I'm just fighting the battle the best I can. I think I'll win it. But it's going to be close, and it's going to be dangerous.